New York's Bravest by Mary Pope Osborne. This is a 2.8 reading level book. Mary Pope Osborne wrote this in honor of the firefighters in New York City who fought the fires of the World Trade Center on September 11th, 2001. This is an urban legend about a firefighter in the early days of New York. Fire, fire, turn out, turn out. The fire bell jangled. Come on, boy, said Moose. Moose was the most famous firefighter in New York City. Eight feet tall, Moose had hands as big as Virginia hams. His arms were so strong he could swim the Hudson River in two strokes. When others ran away from danger, Moose ran towards it. Now Moose and his boys rolled out the pumper and headed for the smoke billowing in the sky. They ran past horses, stables, wooden shanties. They ran past newsboys crying, papers, one penny. They ran past oystermen, roosters, and ragmen. Suddenly, they came to a halt. A horse-drawn trolley was stuck on the tracks, blocking their way. I'll take care of it, boys, said Moose. He lifted the crowded car into the air and then set it down gently and raced on. When Moose got to the burning and the burning tenant, a woman rushed towards him. Help, she screamed. My baby's in there. Moose climbed the ladder to the third floor. He hacked the wood with his ax and wedged his body inside. Moments later, he appeared coughing and covered with soot. He's alone, the mother cried. Where's my baby? As Moose started down the ladder, it caught fire, but Moose leapt through the air and landed on his feet. Then he reached in his hat and pulled out the baby. Thank you, thank you, the mother cried. Just doing my duty, ma'am, said Moose. The mother baked Moose all the pies he could eat to show her thanks. Folks always gave Moose food and drink, barrels of cider and coffee, bushels of oysters and potatoes, mountains of beans and eggs. Raman gave him the latest, his latest ragged clothes. Shoe shine boys shined his boots. Everyone knew if they ever needed help, they could count on Moose. For years and years, Moose ran uptown and downtown, east and west, putting out fires in tenants, mansions, factories, and stores. One night, the fire bell rang. Fire! Fire! An eerie glow lit up the sky. Moose and his boys pulled out the pumper and raced to the piers. A fire in a hotel near the Hudson was roaring out of control. All night, Moose ran in and out of the building, rescuing bankers, bakers, shoemakers, dressmakers, preachers, and politicians. The hotel burned to ashes but all the people inside were saved. As the sun came up, Moose's boys packed up to leave. Wait a minute, one said. Where's Moose? The firefighters looked around. They all stared at the burned out hotel. They grew silent. I know, one said finally. He must have jumped in the river. Yeah, that's it, said another. He must have swam to Jersey. Yeah, I bet he's having a big plate of beans and eggs right now. Yeah, beans and eggs. We'll see him tomorrow. Yeah, but no one ever saw Moose again. It wasn't long before the rumors started. Did you hear? Moose is driving a mule team in the Dakotas. Moose is mining gold in California. Moose is working in Washington for President Lincoln.
For a long time, folks speculated on Moose's whereabouts. Then, one night at the firehouse over a game of checkers, an old-timer put the matter to rest. You know what, he said? Moose ain't in any of them places. Truth is, Moose is right here. He's marching with us in our parades. He's kicking up our heels at our fancy dances. He's skating by the moonlight on the ice pond in the park. And wherever we climb our ladders towards a blazing sky, he climbs with us. Wherever we save folks, he saves them too. You see that firefighter? He'll never leave us. He is the very spirit of New York City.